quick video today. It's a pork butt. I'm gonna use a smoke mode for maybe about an hour. Uh, we're gonna use shake that as seasoning. And other than that, we're gonna set it and forget it, right? We're just gonna keep it at a certain temperature, maybe about 250, let it ride. The only thing I'm looking for is bark. That's the only thing I'm looking for is color, how the grill operates and all that stuff. So with that being said, standard pork butt, nothing much to it. Try to use shake that today. I know what you're thinking. Why would shake that go on a pork butt, salt, pepper, garlic, and butter? Just trying it out. Just trying it out. I am going to add a little bit more black pepper to it because I am a black pepper fan. You can see there's not much on there. All right, just like that, we got all the sides worked in and we're going to let this pork butt sweat a minute while our grill gets up to temp. All right, just want to show you here the process. Let's power it on. Heating tip to 150. We're going to change that to, uh, let's say 225. And once it gets to 225, we'll change it to smoke mode. All right, just getting the rack situated. Of course, that's one of the great features about this. You got the five places to put your racks. Uh, two racks for the same size, then you got your smaller rack. So we're just gonna let this thing heat up, do its thing. Stuff getting down in the morning. All right, let's play around here. Let's go to settings, P settings, smoke mode. We're gonna double check ourselves here. P settings. It's in smoke mode, not PID mode. It's hard to tell on the screen, but smoke mode is brighter than PID. Yeah, it looks like you might have a chance. You know, some pellet smokers I have, you can only go to a certain temp for smoke mode. This looks like it gives you the option to do different temps, which would be pretty cool. So let's see if we just jump it up to 250. And then go to here, go to settings. Yeah, it's in smoke mode. So we're gonna do 250 for smoke mode for an hour and then go to PID. Got a new thermometer toys from Chef Temp. They sent it to me. I've never had a wireless uh, probe thermometer before. We're just trying it out. Don't know if we're gonna like it or not, but we won't know until we get there. So I'll use it in a couple of videos, see what, see what I think about it and uh, let you guys know. So basically I've set that up as well. Uh, on the back of this, I'll just show you really quick. You got another section to hold your probes, to keeps it charged. So you got two different sizes. Obviously we're gonna go with the larger one. Uh, cause you're just trying to get to the middle of the pork. You know, you, if you use this one like this, it's not going to get to the middle of the pork. So we'll just run it this way. And I could be wrong. I am pretty sure that this also shows your ambient temp, which means the temp inside the grill. So not only does it show you the inside, it also shows the outside. Smoke boat, you're going to roll at 250. I got my chef temp thermometer in there. so this is the deal instead of going one hour we went two hours why because i just felt like why not you know i mean i don't know if there's any rhyme or reason i'm trying to create good barbecue whether i'm testing the new pit boss titan or not you know so our chef temp uh let's see is rocking so it's internal 109 the ambient temperature is 262 so it's rocking 260 in there um i have not been able to set mine up with wi-fi I've been going back and forth with what you guys know as the grill sergeant, and he's trying to help me through the process. Uh, I haven't had any luck. Hopefully we can get to it. Maybe we need just to get a booster. I've got other grills and other thermometers. Even this is supported by Wi-Fi, so it's just kind of a little frustrating on my end. Um, but he's helping me along, so hopefully we can get um, some answers. Uh, I'm gonna take it off a of smoke mode, so let's go here. You don't have to press this screen hard. I can tell you that this thing works uh, pretty, pretty cool. So we're in regular settings now. We're still going to keep it at 250, and I'll show you what it looks like. Not bad. Get some color. If you want to rotate it, you can. I don't see any reason why. It kind of looks pretty much the same. Alrighty, so, you know, obviously I've gotten a lot of tips and tricks along the way from you guys, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I really don't know how we're gonna finish it. We're just gonna let it ride to about 165, somewhere through there. 
I think I've got even my thermometer set up now to where it can show you like the internal temperature and it'll give you an alarm once it hits that 165. Some people said put it in like a, a foil pan, a little broth, put aluminum foil over it. Some people like butcher paper, some people like aluminum foil, some people like it naked. I like it all the ways. Hell, once you start pulling that barbecue and it's good barbecue, good pork, I don't really know if it matters. I think there's multiple ways to achieve a good goal. So we're just gonna keep letting it ride and uh, more importantly, just worry about the temps. I don't know what I'm gonna do until I get there. Alrighty, since we can't connect by Wi-Fi, our chef's temp said that it's roughly 165. So we're gonna go ahead and pull it. Ooh. I know one thing, it smells good. I think for the bark, we're a little bit darker than most. Um, it's going to be really hard to tell side by side. We'll have to pull the footage from the Traeger and the Weber. But I think overall, it's only been on there for five hours. Uh, show you this way right here. It's also so it a different good. seasoning, maybe. Did we use a different seasoning? So that could make But it is all purpose. I mean, salt, pepper, garlic, and butter, salt, pepper, garlic, and seasoned salt. I mean, I don't know if that really makes that much of a difference. I'm going to pull the thermometer out so we can wrap it. I'm actually going to do this thing where it's called the foil boat or the chud method or whatever. I've really looked online, reached out to some people. Which one do you like better, foil or paper? You've got the old idea of butcher paper goes to beef, pork goes to uh, aluminum foil. I don't know. I love the bark. So I kind of like the idea of this method right here. You basically get the best of both worlds. It kind of come feeds in its own fat, along with keeps darkening and rendering out that fat. Plus you get a little bit more smoke flavor. And I think that's what cooking's all about. So the thermometer goes back in. Now we're looking for tenderness, roughly 195 to 205. We'll start checking at probably about 198 for pro tenderness. And uh, that's about it. All right, our internal probe is about 198. I've been checking it. The ambient temperature is about 245. We've got it on hovered around 250. Depending on where you probe this, depends on where you're gonna get different uh, temperatures. So I'm just gonna show you how easy this comes in. It's at 199. But it is like, you wanna feel this for the first time? I don't know if this is what they say is like butter. I go ahead and fill that. Oh, on the, yeah. the right side, honey. I didn't know the right side, honey. Oh yeah. See that? All right. Uh -huh. Let's not kill it. It's already <laughs> dead. All right. But over here, if you notice. Yeah, it's a little tougher. Well, that's the bone, honey. <laughs> that's okay. But the temperature's not there. But if you fill it with your probe, it's extremely tender. So what I'm gonna do now is basically just go through the shutdown mode. What I did earlier, I messed up. I truly messed up and it's my fault. I've done it before on my Lone Star grills and I honestly thought it's because the way the racks were designed, they're like that mesh rack. Since I double foiled it with aluminum foil, I was being lazy and I tried to rotate my aluminum fo foil around. Oh, so smoky. It ripped my dang aluminum foil and I lost all my juice. And that was about 180 degrees. Down, I had a mess on the, the deck. Down the front of the grill. So I took it off, tried to add just a touch of vinegar, um, a touch of uh, stock in there, and honestly, just a little bit of soda. And I'm talking about a few tablespoons. I just wanted to recapture that moisture. That's just me being honest. I could not set it, but that's me being honest. I don't think it's gonna hurt the pork butt. I truly don't. So uh, let's see, we're gonna hold it down for three seconds. Going to shutdown mode. I'm gonna pull it. I'm gonna keep that uh, chef's temp thermometer in there because I want to bring the temperature of the pork down. And then I'm just gonna wrap it in a towel let it come down to about 160 degrees naturally. No oven, nothing like that. I just want to keep it out here. I want to keep working and then we'll go to pull it. I'll show you the color and all that stuff. I think I'm actually really impressed with the color. Roughly two hours and 15 to 30 minutes. We've dropped it to 165. That's good enough for me. So I haven't touched it. Just let it sit outside. 
let all those juices absorb back in if we can. Probably not since I lost them. <laughs> talking about one upset feller. Looks like we made up for it. And that's why you keep the foil in there, to keep those juices in there. So. Clean bone check. It is still hot. It is still hot, jeez. Put that meat right there. Mmm. Mm. I want some. <laughs> Here. We got a bunch of baby birds. Taste that right there. Mm. Hang on, because you ain't tasted it with a shake that yet. Mm. That's got to shake that on there. Only. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Surprising. I mean, I don't know why it's surprising, but it's surprisingly good. But you think about it, it is an all-purpose seasoning. So yeah, I was going to say, that's a good, just like all-purpose pork. Pork nachos, loaded pork baked potatoes. What do you think? I think it tastes how it always tastes. <laughs> Which means fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I wanna try to keep some of this whole because I feel like it warms up better. Mm. But you can see right here. I mean the meat just pulls apart, it's juicy. I would like to say I actually am surprised about the bark. The bark Definitely came through a little bit more than others. That could be a combination of the grill, the pit boss uh, pellets. Um, but we're going to put it up head to head with other grills. Uh, I like the idea of maybe doing like maybe the first competition I do is like one slab of ribs and put it on the Titan, the sear wood and the iron wood and just see what happens. Right. Same temp, same everything. Like Same this, pellets. Same pellets, same everything and see what happens. So if you guys have any suggestions or something like that. Just hit down below. We can come up with something. I'm looking forward to it. I think they're all three great smokers. I think it's just about preference and all that stuff. So if you guys are interested, don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification okay, button. Share it with your friends. I'm going to eat. This is good. The rain stopped at perfect time. It's rained all day long. Dinner time.